everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. I have been waiting ages to make it. This video is going to be my ultimate list of all time mommy favorites. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that I want to share with you guys is my baby bag. I have been using this particular bag for nearly two years now. It's right here. It's from a company called Thea Thea and I think it's the most beautiful diaper bag that I have ever seen and it was so hard to pick between all the different styles on their website because they all are very chic and fashion forward. I just fell in love with this um, black baby bag. I'll put the name in um, the screen below and I love the sparkles. They're each individually like stamped into the bag and like I said, I have been using this almost every day for almost two years now and none of the rhinestones have come out or are loose. And the bag is just in amazing condition. It holds absolutely everything that I could possibly need. And my favorite thing is this pocket right here. I think it was specifically designed to be the perfect size for like, um, like an iPhone, your keys. Um, I put my mommy hook in there, which is like this big huge like um, carabiner that you stick onto your stroller so that you can hang bags and shopping bags and stuff from it. Um, but anyway, I could not love this baby bag more and as my kids get older, I know that I'll still be able to use this as like a day bag because it just is so grown up and lovely. So be sure to give Thea Thea a look. The next thing I'm going to show you comes from a company called Thin and Emma. They create heirloom organic cotton baby clothing and toys. And I, I'm just going to show you because they're just so cute. So I picked up a couple things for Archer and something for Avery. So I'm going to show you Archer's onesie first. Isn't this adorable? This comes from the Woodland Critter Collection and this is just like a short onesie. I need to show you, these buttons are absolutely adorable. They look like they're made out of cork and they have the little Finn and Emma bird on them. I just love it. And the fact that this, but, um, this onesie was unbuttoned leads me to believe that I think Archer might have started unbuttoning these um, because he tends to get hot at night and I just like that. It's something that he can use and feel comfortable in. I love the colors. I collect foxes and look at that, it's a little fox. I love how soft the fabrics are and how thick and well made the clothes are. And what heirloom means is that there's greater craftsmanship that's been put into the pieces and so they will last longer. And having two boys, I want to make my clothes last for as long as possible so that I can pass it down from Avery to Archer. With heirloom baby clothes, those are the ones that like survive the craziness of I boy. also just love that the company itself is very kind and socially conscious. They're just so thoughtful because like check this out, they have screened their tag onto the back of the clothes. My sister absolutely could not have any tags in her clothing and so I remember my mom having to cut all the care tags out of everything that she owned. And so I just really appreciate the attention to detail and the thoughtfulness that goes into each of their pieces. I'm going to show you Avery's pair of pajamas. I mean, it doesn't get any cuter than this. It's like a geometric print with ships on top of it, which is, I don't know, I thought I love this color combination. It was just so calming and cozy. And again, with the screened tag on the back, even for um, a boy who's almost five years old, like, that's just so sweet and thoughtful. Ever since he was born, Avery is just not a sleeper. He's not my best sleeper. He doesn't like bedtime. He's got more important things to do. Two days after receiving his pajamas, he actually was ready for bed at like 7.30 on his own and he's like, look mommy, I put on my pajamas, I'm ready for bed. And he was ready to get cozy and get ready for bed. And so I really do attribute it to just the comfiness of these pajamas. I We don't have a lot of organic cotton stuff but this has really changed my entire perspective on investing in organic cotton because just his response to the clothing tells me so much about how comfortable he is because for the first time in his four and a half years of living, 
he put himself to bed. I have a couple more things to show you from Finn and Emma. This is a little different. These are little gray pantaloons. Nice little basic piece to have in your wardrobe. I love, I think the pantaloons are just so cute, whether it's for girls or for boys. It's, I just think they're so adorable. And again, the organic cotton is just so soft and so comfy and perfect for summertime. So it's, I mean, live in California. It's super hot right now. They were light and airy and he could just feel so comfy in his stroller in them. Definitely recommend. Last thing that I want to share with you is this cute little blanket lovey from the Woodland Critter Collection. This was actually something that Archer picked himself. I was on the internet making my order and I kind of was like, hey Archer, do you see anything that you like? And he's like, that one. He is definitely like a snuggly kind of guy. He has a couple baby blankets, which I'll show you in a little while. And so this is just the perfect fit for him. And again, the softness of the fabric is just everything. And I love the print and he carries this thing with him everywhere. In fact, I had to like unjam this from the corner of his bunk bed. It's holding up quite well, I have to say. So be sure to give Finn and Emma a look. I'm going to actually put a promotion code down below for you guys so you can get a little bit off your purchase with them. So moving on, I'm going to share with you our absolute favorite baby blankets. They come from Little Giraffe. This is Archer's, gray of course, and this is just the classic like chenille blanket. And it is the softest baby blanket you will ever feel. It's got a satin border as well and he's had this since before he was born. This was actually the very first thing that I purchased for him when I knew he was on the way um, because Avery actually has a blanket of his own and this one is almost five years old and it is still soft. It's holding up very well. It's been through the wash a bajillion and a half times. The satin right here is still soft. It hasn't gotten all gross or pilly or anything. I know that this is part of his like feeling cozy and secure routine. I think that little giraffe items are always worth the investment for that reason alone. And they will be a part of my family for many more years to come. The next few items I am so excited about because bedtime reading has to be our favorite time of the day. I am an avid reader and I'm happy to say that my sons are also avid readers and we absolutely love trips to Barnes and Noble to pick out a new storybook and children's books are just the best. So I'm going to share with you four of our favorites. So the first two books that I want to share with you come from the same collection. The first book is called The Day the Crayons Quit and then the second book is called The Day the Crayons Came Home. And these are written by Drew Daywalt and are illustrated by Oliver Jeffers. This kept coming up as like a recommended for you book on um, barnesandnoble.com and finally I was like, okay, I have to check this out. So I bought this, loved it so much. I think it's just so funny. You know, like there have been some books that I have read to Avery where I'm just like, oh my gosh, make it stop. But this is funny and engaging for children and for parents. It teaches you not just about colors, and I mean, there's like some interesting colors in here, like um, pea green and beige and like non-traditional children's book colors. The entire premise of these stories actually talk a lot about relationships and the fact that people or crayons don't always get along and that's okay and um, resolving all of that. And I don't know, one of our absolute favorite stories. In fact, I'm going to show you it's got a label in it because these have both been to preschool and um, whenever he brings them in they actually read it to the class so I think it's a really it's a preschool approved book the next book I'm going to show you came from a recommendation from a designer friend and this is created by one of the artists from Frozen it's called Once Upon a Cloud by Claire Keane it's absolutely stunning I would have bought this for myself if I didn't have kids and I'm just gonna give you guys a look inside because it's just beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's such a wonderful story. It's just as sweet and as wonderful as you could possibly imagine from these beautiful pictures. And so the back of the book says that this is a journey to the sky and back in search of the perfect gift. And this is one of the first books that Avery memorized front to back because I think the message just means so much to him. The last book is just a little bit different. It caught my attention um, when I was actually in the kids section of Barnes & Noble. It's an award winner. It just has a different look to it. It doesn't look like your traditional children's book. Um, when I gave it a closer look, it's The Dark by 
Lemony Snicket. So if you remember the series of unfortunate events, that is the author of those books as well. So I was like, okay, now I really, really need to give this a look because I really like the series of unfortunate events. This is also a book that has been to uh, daycare. And it's just a little different. Let's see if I can show you guys. It's about a little boy named Laszlo and his relationship with the dark. So here's Laszlo. And the dark is, well, the dark. And I just thought that the style of the book is really interesting. It doesn't really strike you as a traditional children's book. So the dark is actually a character in the book, which I thought was really interesting because I think a lot of children's book message that like the dark is something that you make go away. The dark becomes like a problem to solve or like a bad guy that you have to like banish from your bedroom. Um, but this book is all about learning to live with the dark. Dark isn't an evil or bad thing, it's just there and always there. And how you can learn to live with the dark and not be afraid. Because it really took the fear factor out of the dark. It's not some unknown, it's actually something that lives in your house and will always live in your house. And you guys live together and it's just fine. Yes. So those are all of our most favorite things that we are loving at the moment. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have your own favorite things that you'd like to share with me, I'm always curious to try out new things. Um, if you liked what you saw, please be sure to like this video and subscribe, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!